Never Enough Ammo's uh, truck gun video, and this is a response video to him. Uh, I had the same dilemma a couple months ago. I was trying to decide what I should use for my truck gun. I regularly conceal carry, and I carry something like a Glock and 45 ACP, which I can shoot accurately and hit a human target to about 25 yards, roughly. Uh, that's kind of pushing it out to 25 yards. It takes a lot of practice. Uh, and. So my thought is, what if I get in a situation where I have, you know, I'm in danger and I need something with a longer range and the pistol's just not cutting it, you know, maybe superior uh, engagement with targets, I need a bigger weapon, uh, I'm going into something, you know, that's unexpected. So, of course, my first thought went to my favorite go-to rifle, which is the classic AR-15 and the M4 carbine 16-inch barrel variety uh, with a 1-4 to four power scope. This by far is probably my most favoritist rifle around because it's, it's an a all-in-one type rifle. You can go long range, you can go short range, have lots of ammunition, have decent power, very good. This is why the military carries this sort of a weapon. Uh, then I got to thinking about this. I'm going to leave this in my vehicle and if somebody breaks into my vehicle not only now do they have a massive amount of firepower, but this thing is not cheap. Uh, just the money I put into this, I think I bought it uh, with the accessories and everything and everything on it and all the upgrades. This thing is running well over $1,000 with all the add-ons I put onto it. So I'm not going to leave in my vehicle all the time to be stolen a $1,000 rifle that's my favorite rifle. This is one I really enjoy shooting and taking out, and in a dangerous situation, this is the one I'll go get out of my safe. But I don't want to leave it around in my car, so this is just too nice to risk having somebody take it from me. So, Matt chose a pump shotgun, which is one of my favorite types of shotguns to have because it's very intimidating being able to pump and rack the slide. But I came into a lucky find. I got this shotgun here. It's a semi-automatic Remington 1187. I got it for about a hundred bucks because somebody had left it outside and let it entirely rust. And uh, I went through, completely dremeled it, took blue remover, completely re-blued it, and then I uh, dura-coated it after uh, completely refinishing it. So I put like four hours worth of work into this to make it look good again or decent again to where you can't see that it was pitted and rusted. And so this right here with the extension on it is under a $200 shotgun for me. So about the same price as Matt's pump, but this one is a semi-automatic. It'll hold nine in the tube and one in the chamber. So you're talking a 10 shot and then I got a five shot side saddle. So uh, this is what I rock for a truck gun because it's an only $200 shotgun but it can put a devastating amount of firepower out and it's good to double the range of my pistol. If anyone's further away from 50 yards, I should not be shooting at them anyway. I should be in my car driving away. So, uh, my $200 semi-automatic is my choice for my truck gun. Meep, meep.